How's it going guys? Left First here and today we're doing another battle video. Today's battle video is going to be between the full spring combo versus the full free spin combo. Now I did uh, individual videos on each one of these combos but today we're going to be putting them against each other seeing which one's better the full spring combo or the full free spin combo. Now for the full spring combo we have God, Valkyrie with the spring loaded layer, Sting, spring loaded uh, disc, and finally it has the power driver, the spring loaded driver. Now in the actual video I use the nothing driver, but in this video I decided to change it up and use the power driver just because I, when I recorded the other video, I actually meant to use the power driver in that video. It's just when I was recording it, I couldn't find my power driver, so I was like, what other driver has a spring in it? The nothing driver, so we use the nothing driver. But this video, we're actually going to be using the power driver which is a lot more fitting because um, it's an attack type Beyblade, it's like an attack type layer, so it should have an attack type driver, you know? Anyways, for uh, the free spin combo, the full free spin combo, we have Tornado, Wyvern, Hurricane, Atomic, and that is just the coolest name ever. It's like, if there's a t it's like total overkill. It's like there's a tornado, then there's a hurricane, and then a giant atomic bomb. It's crazy. Okay, anyways, yeah, that's the full free spin combo versus the full uh, spring combo. But let's see which one's better. Honestly, which one do I think is probably gonna win? I think I think that the full sp spring combo is probably better just because it comes with newer parts. But at the same time, the full free spin combo has atomic, and atomic is epic. Like atomic's pretty great. Anyway, let's get this battle started. Ready? Three, two, one. I love it whenever I put the the full free spin combo on a launcher, and it's like double free spin layer. That's just so epic. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. My launcher's on left spin. I take that back. <laughs> Cut the video. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Both Beyblades are in the stadium. Let's see which one's better. The full free spin combo or the full spring combo. No contact at all. This is an amazing battle. I love battles with no contact. Insert sarcasm here if you couldn't. If you couldn't tell that was sarcastic. I don't know. I'm kind of bad at sarcasm. Okay, let's see who's going to win this battle. It looks like... Uh, the full free spin combo is kind of losing a bit of stamina, and the full spring combo is also kind of losing a bit of stamina, because that's what happens when Beyblades are in a stadium for a while, they lose stamina. I don't know why I'm being so stupid today. Anyway, the winner of that battle was the full uh, free spin combo. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. Also, I do like the color scheme on both these Beyblades. I feel like the color scheme just works really well, and I, I, I like that. I like that a lot, because I just took, like, it, like, it's just random parts from random Beyblades. Like, okay, the layer, this layer has a uh, spring load, this uh, disc has a spring loaded part, and this driver has a spring loaded part. And it, I just put them together, and we get this masterpiece. Like, look how blue that is. That looks so nice. And same thing for uh, the Wyvern Beyblade. Like, I'm surprised they made the Hurricane uh, disc also purple. Just, like, Wyvern, it just fits so well, it looks so cool, I like it. Okay, let's keep on going. Ready, three, two, one, go. Shoot. There is Wyvern, three, two, one, shoot. And there's Valkyrie. Also, another thing that I do like is that they're kind of evenly matched because they're both god layers. Like, they're both from the same system. For instance, if it was like a dual layer with the spring loaded gimmick, which I don't know why a dual layer would have a gimmick because uh, layer gimmicks weren't really a thing until the God series, but I guess you could count Longness as a layer gimmick because it did have metal in it. That was like the first uh, la layer gimmick. Longness was kind of the predecessor to all GT Beyblades, or not GT Beyblades, to all God Beyblades in my opinion, just because the layer had a gimmick. It was, uh, it had metal in it, so there's its gimmick for uh, the God series, and then the disc I mean, the disc, not really. I, it was called Nine, so I guess you could say, like, Nine, as in, like, the Nine disc, kind of translated to the core disc that we got in the God series named after numbers, so I guess that can kind of has a correlation. And then the Spiral Driver was, like, one of the first drivers to have, like, uh, its initial as two letters, which was a main thing in the God series. So there you go. The Longinus was kind of, uh, the Lost Longinus, that is, was kind of a predecessor to all the God series Beyblades, which I thought maybe the pattern would have continued, and then maybe like lo or Nightmare Longness would be the predecessor to all Chosy Beyblades, where Nightmare Longness was like a fusion. Oh my goodness, the Spring Loaded just totally destroyed uh, the full free spin combo right there. But yeah, I thought uh, Nightmare Longness might be the predecessor to all Chosy Beyblades, whereas in when the Chosy Beyblades released, they would all be like uh, discs used with the layers, which would have been so epic, but they decided to go a different route and just make all Chosy Beyblades metal, which was kind of the obvious route. Like, 
That is the most uncreative thing, in my opinion, that you could have done. Like, it's like, okay, we're gonna upgrade from the amazing god- Oh, whoa, this thing is bursting wyvern like crazy, that's epic. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go from this crazy awesome gimmick thing that we did in the god series, which was so awesome. Each Beyblade had their own individual ability, and each Beyblade was unique. And then we're gonna go to the Chosey series, and then just put metal on all the Beyblades. That's gonna be the new gimmick, or whatever. And uh, that's- it was just so obvious. It was like, what are we gonna do next after uh, the God series- after the God series and gimmicks? Let's just- how about we just put metal on it? And everyone's like, well, we can't think of any better ideas, so sure. At least in the GT- oh my- this full free spin combo's getting obliterated. Oh my god, the full uh, spring combo's so much better. Or maybe it's not. Uh, it's just- it's just a three burst in a row, actually. It probably is. So, uh... Yeah, honestly, uh, but the GT series is really cool where you can customize the layer and stuff like that's that's pretty epic Although I will say the GT series kind of took some competitive aspects away from the layer Obviously it probably added way more competitive aspects But what I'm talking about is like the thing with the teeth You know how some layers have like really bad teeth, but because of its shape it makes it have like a lot of stamina So you would you would use like Beyblades with a lot of stamina But horrible teeth and kind of take that risk you kind of don't have that risk in the GT series because you can switch out the Gachinko chip, meaning you can switch out the teeth. So for instance, uh, they might release a stamina type with really uh, bad teeth but a really round design and now you can just like switch out the bad teeth for good teeth so now you have like a good tooth, a good tooth, a good teeth. How do you say that? Like what's the, what's the teeth? Good teeth? Like what's the past tense of teeth? Whatever. You might have a stamina type uh, with a really round shape and now it has good teeth, which is like really, that's pretty OP in my opinion. Although I do like how you can't customize um, left spin uh, layers with, or left spin gachinko chips with right spin gachinko chips. Because that means, if you keep making the left spins have like worse teeth, that means like Beyblades such as Bahamu can't have amazing teeth, which makes the metagame kind of balanced. Because for instance, imagine like, uh, imagine like Valkyrie teeth on Bahamu, that'd be so OP. Actually, now that I'm thinking, isn't that just, <laughs> they actually made a left spin version of Valkyrie teeth. It's called the Longinus Gachinko chip. So what I'm saying is totally irrelevant. I have no idea what I'm talking about. You can just put the Longinus Gachinko chip on Bahamu and now it has has like crazy teeth with a super round design heavy layer. You know, I didn't really think of that. Bahamut just broken now. Like, what the heck? Bahamut is such a round Beyblade. It has an amazing gimmick, and now you can mix it with like a long and a Scotchinko chip. That is just so OP. And then, okay, wait, wait, wait. You have the longest layer. Uh, sorry, not the longest layer. You have the uh, Dread layer, the Dread layer base that came on Dread Bahamut. Then you put the like uh, rubber thing that makes. Uh, the Beyblade have a little bit more burst resistance, and then you put the long and it's got Chinko chip on it. Oh my god, that Beyblade is just not bursting. It should have extreme stamina, and it should be able to spin still like crazy because it's so round. That is so OP. That is, Takara told me you gotta balance your game better. Like, oh my goodness, that is crazy OP. <laughs> <laughs> this whole GT system, everything's just super OP now. Like, everything's heavier, everything's more OP. It's just like, whoa, it's crazy. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, two. I haven't even been paying attention to the battles. I've just been, like, talking. Whoa, it looks like uh, the spring loaded combo won that time. That was kind of cool because uh, that time, I think it was the disc, the spring loaded disc that made most of the contact, which is interesting because usually it's the layer that makes most of the contact. That's why I'm kind of concerned about these uh, GT uh, discs. They're very cool in design. Like, I really like uh, their design. Like, for instance, like, it's so cool to have a free spinning disc. But in, in retrospect, when you actually think about it, it's like, you have a free spinning disc, when is the disc ever gonna make contact? Never! So what's the point of having a free spinning disc? Is there just really no point. But it's it's cool when it does happen, you know? Okay, ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot! 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot! I'm gonna start paying attention to the battles more and stop going on tangents. Both Beyblades are in the stadium. Let's see who wins this battle. Solid hits from the spring-loaded combo, but the full free spin combo is using that free spin ability to its fullest potential and free spinning a lot of the spin I've, words. I'm very good at commentating, don't worry about it. I've been doing this for years. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm horrible at it. But yeah, okay, the winner of that battle, I think the full free spin combo barely won that. It barely outspun uh, the full spring combo, so we'll give that point to the full free spin combo. Overall, I think these combos are kind of tied. They're both really good combos. It looks like uh, the full free spin combo does have pretty good 
defense and pretty good stamina, but the full spring combo has amazing attack, so it kind of balances each other out, you know? Like, I, it's, it's a 50-50 matchup. It could go either way is what I'm trying to say. Okay, ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Three, full free spin combo. 3, 2, 1, go. Three, full spring combo. And there goes the full spring combo. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna do uh, one more battle before I end off this video. Ready? Three, two, one. Shoot. Full free spin combo. Three, two, one. Go. Shoot. Full spring combo. Okay, who's going to win this battle? I wonder. Should we just do winner takes all? I guess we're doing winner takes all. The winner of this battle is going to be the full spring combo. God, Valkyrie, Sting, Power. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any other battle suggestions, leave them in the comment section below, and I might do a video on it. Uh, see you guys later. Have a nice day. Left first out.